SIDE IS FIGHTING TO GET FLORIDIANS THEIR UNEMPLOYMENT BENEFITS. AND TONIGHT WE HAVE SOME GOOD NEWS TO REPORT. SOME OF THE PEOPLE HIGHLIGHTED BY AID ON YOUR SIDE ARE STARTING TO SEE THAT MUCH NEEDED STATE AND FEDERAL MONEY ARRIVE IN THEIR BANK ACCOUNTS. INVESTIGATIVE REPORTER VICTORIA PRICE IS GETTING THOSE RESULTS. AND VICTORIA, THERE ARE A LOT OF PEOPLE WHO STILL NEED HELP, BUT THIS IS A START. Jen, it certainly is. People are finally, finally starting to see at least some of what's owed to them. Some of those people telling us they think it might be because we went to bat for them. You know, it's hard to know for sure, but it's a trend that we uh, the hope certainly continues. So if there's somebody from March who's gone through, submitted it all, done, uh, they're going to have gotten paid by now. So if you haven't, then there is some issue that is holding it up. And Norm Cole knew exactly what that issue was, even if he didn't know why. He was locked out of his unemployment claim for nearly six weeks. When calling the DEO got him nowhere, he called Aid on Your Side. I just need one person on the phone that actually has proper access in the system. The very next morning after that story aired, he got a call that his claim was suddenly unlocked. No explanation, but full state benefits and partial federal funds deposited within days. What do you think that says about the system? Oh, it tells me the system is broken. If there was a problem with Faye Helminski's claim, the state never let her know either. She applied April 1st, only to get rejected without reason and then told to file again. After her story aired, she suddenly qualified and received a week's worth of benefits. I'm not sure if I should go back and fight and get it from backdated to April 1st, or should I just leave it? So far, Florida has paid out $2 billion to just under a million people. The average person has received 2700 That's about three weeks' worth of full state and federal benefits. It's progress, but with 200,000 applicants still waiting for help. I get on Channel 8, and the next morning I get a phone call, and I can finally move forward. I really do praise you, and thank you, Victoria, for all your help. And these are results that we do want to keep seeing. So that is why I'm once again collecting names and information of people who have been waiting more than a month for their unemployment benefits. I delivered more than 4,000 names to Tallahassee earlier this week. If you'd like to add your name to that list, just go to our website. That's WFLA.com and click on Florida Unemployment. Jen. Well, do we know if that first round of names, if those folks have had any luck? You know, I've actually started to have some emails trickle in in the last day. People who have heard from the DEO, they had had no correspondence prior to that, but after we sent that list, the, they had the DEO reach out to them, and they whatever was wrong with their claim has not been now been resolved, and uh, some of those people said that they're expecting to see their benefits in the next couple of days. Making progress. Victoria Price, live in Tampa for us. Thank you. And if you